All right, for this next section, we're going to go ahead and have Link stop moving. Right now, as we said earlier, Link continues to walk after I stop pressing the buttons. So how can we make Link just stand still? It's going to require some setting up. First, we're going to go ahead and go inside of Link MC. So here's Link MC. I can either double click him right from here because right now I'm on the stage that says scene one. That means I'm on the stage. So I can double click him right from here or I can go directly to my library, double click on Link or MC Link All. Either way, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to go ahead and double click within my library. So I double click here and I'll notice right on the top left it says MC Link All. So what I'm going to do now is go to my timeline. In case you don't have timeline, remember you can reset your view by going to Window, Workspace, and Reset Essentials. That will reset your essential uh, view and everything should look just like mine. I'm going to go ahead and go over to frame 6 and insert a blank keyframe. When I insert a blank keyframe, I have an empty keyframe at frame 5 and I have a crosshair. I think I said 6, I meant 5. So here's the crosshair and I'm going to go ahead and grab a still image of Link. Now remember when we imported the GIF, it imported two pictures for front. This and this. One with his left foot forward, one with his right foot forward. I'm going to grab the first one and drag it over. So I'm not dragging over the movie clip because it has both of the uh, images within it. This is just a still image of Link. I'm going to drag over one of those, drop it in the same area as before. So the top left corner will be lined up with the crosshair. From here, I'm going to give it a frame label by selecting the frame, going up to properties, and I'm going to type in link facing front still. Ordinarily, I have to tell you, I would never make such a long uh, frame label. I would make it shorter, um, but in this case for this tutorial, I'm going to write it out so that it's easier to tell what we're doing when we're looking at the action script. Just be mindful that because we have uh, such a long label name, uh, you can make uh, spelling mistakes easier. So just watch out for that. Pay attention to how you're spelling everything and I'll try my best to do the same. So here we labeled it link facing front still. I'm going to go ahead and go over to the next one. Insert another blank keyframe. This time it's going to be for frame 6. I'm going to go ahead and drag over link facing the back which is here. Drag it right over. Drop it in the same area. Click on the frame, label it in the properties window, type in link facing back still. Again, I capitalized the uh, first letters of the words right after the first word. So there's three capital letters in there. Facing has a capital F, back has a capital B, still has a capital S. I'm going to go back to our frame, insert one more blank keyframe in this case drag over a still of link facing the left, drop it, label it, link facing left still, and last but not least, create a blank keyframe, excuse me, I misspoke, uh, insert a keyframe for the next one. So I insert a keyframe for the last frame here, frame 8. And I'm going to you notice that frame 7 and 8 are the same thing. I'm just going to flip frame 8 by going to modify, transform, flip horizontal, and he'll face the opposite direction. Give it a frame label, as you may have guessed, link facing right still. Let's go back to the stage. I'm going to go to the left here, click on scene one, so I'm back on the stage. Everything else is still the same. The game is going to still operate the same way. But we're going to act type in some code so that 
we can take a look at what we need to do to have Link stop dancing around and walk in place. We're going to type in a big else statement. What that means is the if statement starts here. These are the else ifs. And then we're going to type in just else by itself. Type in else. I'm going to press open curly bracket on my keyboard, skip a line, and close the curly bracket. So if I scroll down a little bit, this is what the end of your code should look like right now. What happens is it's going to look for this. If key the down key is pressed, it's going to do these things. If the up key is pressed, it's going to do these things. Else if, otherwise, if the left key is pressed, it's going to do these things. Otherwise, if the right key is pressed, it's going to do these things. Otherwise, if none of these things are happening, it's going to do whatever is between this curly bracket and this curly bracket. And what we're going to type in here is we're going to type in uh, some information that will help Link stay still. I could just type underscore root dot go to and stop. Oh, excuse me. Forgot something. Underscore root dot link mc dot go to and stop. Open parentheses quotation mark. Link facing front still quotation mark close parentheses semicolon and it will work partially. If I run my movie clip right now, when Link is standing still awesome. He's not moving around. He's not dancing around. If I press the up key, he will stop, but he'll face the front. Left key, he'll stop, but he'll face the front. So somehow I need the computer to understand what direction Link is facing. There are several methods to do this, but I'm going to do the one that I think would be uh, the easiest to understand for what we're doing. So we're going to leave delete this line because that doesn't work for our purpose. And I'm going to leave the else there, but I'm not going to type anything in it for now. Instead, I'm going to go to the top, and we're going to make some changes. First, at the beginning of the game, I'm going to have Link facing front still. Instead of him walking at the beginning of the game, he's going to just stand still. So that's the first change we're going to make. The second change we need to make is we're going to create a second variable. This variable is going to be called Link Current direction. Again, it's a really long variable name. I don't like doing that because it's easy to have typos, but I like that it makes it clear what that variable does for the purposes of this tutorial. So we have link current direction. I'm going to give it, assign it uh, the class of, or the variable type is going to be string with a capital S. There we go. String highlights blue because it's a reserved name and it is going to assign the characteristics, the behaviors of a string to this variable. Then I'm going to type in equals. Now right off the bat at the beginning of the game the variable is going to be called front. A string variable is basically just a set of characters. Uppercase, lowercase, uh, doesn't really matter, but it's a set of uh, characters. It could have spaces in it, it could have a sentence, anything like that within these quotation marks will be considered a string. What are we going to do with this? Well, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go here to where it says if the down key is pressed, and within this if statement, we're going to add a line. Here, we're going to say link current direction equals quotation mark and it's going to be front because he would be facing the front when the down arrow key is pressed. You have the option of typing in underscore root dot link current direction. Doesn't really matter again. It's optional uh, in the in this case, but uh, I'm just going to do it for the sake of doing it and uh, just to develop a habit. Here we're going to type in for the next one for the next if statement underscore root dot link current location excuse me current direction equals back 
And we're going to do the same thing for left and right. I go right inside the if statement, press enter, underscore root dot link current direction equals left in quotation marks. And it's all lowercase letters. I'm doing it all lowercase so it's easier to remember for later. And last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this time to save myself time. Copy this line, paste it for the right, except instead of left, we type in right. Now what I can do, each time if I press the up, down, or left, or right, it's going to correspond to what link, or it's going to change the value of link current direction to a certain thing. And what I can do here is I'm going to type in an if statement within the else statement. So if the keys are not pressed, it's going to look for what the current direct uh, excuse me direction is. So if if link current direction equals and I put two equal signs because it's going to check to see what links current direction is. If you put a single equal sign, that's going to assign it a value of whatever you say and it's going to confuse the computer because you're typing an if statement. So it's not going to work. So I'm going to put two equal signs there and I'm going to type in quotation marks front close quotation mark, close parentheses, open a curly bracket, skip a line, close a curly bracket. Now if you look here, we have three closed curly brackets at the bottom. One is for the front, excuse me, the if statement here. One is for the else statement here. And the last one is for the uh, on enter frame function, which ends here. What I'm going to do is within the if statement, I'm going to type in underscore root dot link mc dot go to and stop open parentheses qu quotation marks and I'm going to type in link facing front still link facing front still quotation mark close parentheses semicolon I'm then going to type an else statement so right after this if statement, right here on line 25, I'm going to type in else if, open parentheses. I'm going to go ahead and copy this line here and paste it to save ourselves time. If link current direction equal equal quotation mark back, quotation mark, close parentheses, open curly bracket, skip a line, close curly bracket again. We're going to say this same line, I'm just going to copy it once more. paste it here, except this time I'm going to say, let's make this a little bit wider, there we go. Uh, instead of front, it's going to say back still. So up until this point, if I run my movie, he stands still when he's facing the front, because I'm not pressing anything. When I press the down arrow key, he animates and he stops. Press the up, he animates and he stops facing the top. We're going to do the same thing for left and right. To save myself time, I'm going to copy this else if statement here, copy that, paste it, else if link current uh, excuse me, direction is left, and we're going to say link facing left still, and paste it one more time, control V, and we're going to say link facing right. And instead of this quotation mark here where we said link if current location, excuse me, link current direction is back, we're going to put uh, right. All right, so let's check it out. Now link stands still, he walks right and he stops, walks left and he stops, front and back. And there you have it. You made the basic controls for your RPG game. Congratulations. Stay tuned for the next section where we create the level.